Today we are heading back to St. Pete to check out a couple places we have been wanting to visit for a long time. Now the first spot has been around for a while and it's probably been the most recommended place for us to visit on our channels. And the second one we have tried when it was just a food truck in this area and now they have their own brick and mortar. As some of you guys may have already guessed, the first spot we're taking you today is Mazzaro's. It's an Italian market. It's been around in St. Pete forever. They also have a bakery and a deli, and it's by far the most requested spot to go to on this channel. Honestly, I don't know why it's taken us this long to go there, but today we are finally doing it, and we're pretty excited about it. Now this week we actually got done editing a video about a day earlier than expected, so we're rewarding ourselves with kind of a day off here in St. Pete. And I think one of the reasons that we have avoided Mazzaro's is because people always talk about how busy it is on the weekends, like it gets insanely busy. So we're hoping it's not too bad on a Wednesday around noon. This is the parking lot, or part of it. It is looking pretty busy. So, uh... Yeah. Hey, there's a spot over there. Oh, there's a spot, so we're gonna go park. Just stepping out of the car, like you can already smell it. Yeah. And it smells very delicious. It does. We ordered a mortadella pistachio sandwich and the fig and the pig. That has to be like fresh that mozzarella. mozzarella. Awesome. Wow. So we were lucky that two spots opened up at the coffee bar so we could eat inside. Look at that. That's a lot of meat too. That fresh mozzarella is so delicious and we just got our coffee. We went with a summer special. It's called Sunshine Sweetness and it's vanilla mint. So the bread in this sandwich is really good. Also, we both love the mozzarella, but I think my favorite thing is the prosciutto. It is just ridiculously flavorful. And I do think dipping it in the olive oil does add a little as well, although it's definitely not necessary. Perk is sitting at the bar as you get to watch all of the delicious looking bakery items. I'm gonna go ahead and say that we over ordered for lunch. I think we would have been just fine just sharing the pig and the fig. This is the pistachio mortadella, is that correct? So while we do love to eat, we are not experts in Italian meats and cheeses. We had to look it up. It turns out the mortadella is actually the meat. I already forget what kind of cheese is on this, but it looks really creamy and delicious. So the meat on this sandwich basically just looks like fancy bologna, but it is so good and it's the perfect meat for this sandwich. It goes really well with this creamy cheese. I thought that fig and pig sandwich was great, but this one's even better. I think my favorite thing about this sandwich is the pistachio spread because you don't see it everywhere. We did have it on a pizza downtown once and that was also really good. There's like a whole other room for wine and cheese. I was also surprised to find that they have a pretty decent selection of European beers here as well. There's a whole section of food that you can take home and cook. A lot of lasagna options. There's a whole bunch of coffee that you can buy. They also have these giant cookies that look delicious and we haven't even gotten to the bakery yet. So we just got out of Mazzaro's for the first time, and that is probably about what we should have expected. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty insane in there. We've always heard it's busy, and I kind of asked them when the least busy time was come, and they pretty much told us never, but it does sound like Saturdays are even much busier than that. So we're definitely going to be avoiding coming back on weekends. Yeah, but overall, everything I would say exceeded our expectations as far as the food, like the breads we had, the cold cuts, the cheeses, the sauces, even the coffee. Yeah. I think all of them were better than what we were expecting. Yeah, that latte was really strong. A lot of times iced lattes are weak, but that one was strong. The coffee was so flavorful. The syrups were really good too. I normally don't like the crowds, but considering how good that food is, I would come back and deal with those crowds. Yeah, and you'd also mention like the prices at this yeah. place. Yeah, I was surprised that the sandwiches we got were only $10. I think that iced latte was only $5. So mm -hmm. we got out of that place for less than 30 bucks, which, yeah, I thought was a really good deal. Yeah, and we have leftovers. Too. We do, we do. We <laughs> couldn't even finish our second sandwich, so we'll have a nice snack when we get home tonight. Yeah, so even somebody who does not like all the lines, <laughs> they're saying it is worth coming to. Right? I think so. And not even to mention all the other things they offer. They yeah. have a pretty good like wine and beer selection. They had a decent selection of European beers, which I really liked. They obviously have their meat and seafood counter. 
which looked great and the, yes. the prices weren't terrible there either mm -hmm. they have their bakery which you did get something from there i did but we were so full from our lunch the bakery item is going to be safe for later so we'll share that with you in I'll, a little while i'll finish the sandwich <laughs> and she can have what was that thing called i'm not saying oh yet. you're not giving it I'm, away i'm not giving it's it away be a surprise yeah we sat uh, next to somebody at the coffee bar and they specifically recommended this and she was come here definitely often. a regular yes <laughs> <laughs> she had a lot of advice yes. and jamie was happy to take it i think we were wide-eyed and looked a little awestruck <laughs> because multiple people they all knew we'd never been there before. i know like oh your first time yeah okay you need to do this so we appreciate everybody that gave us the tips and i will be very excited to try that bakery item a little bit later yeah I will say though, you always feel like you're standing in someone's way in that place. Like that's yes. what I don't like about that experience is it doesn't matter where you are, mm -hmm. someone wants that space and you're just always standing in someone's way. So if you're someone that doesn't like crowds or doesn't do good in tight spaces, you might want to avoid that place. But if you can deal with it, it is worth it because the food is that good. Yeah. And that is something I guess to share if you haven't come here yet and you're thinking about coming here, if you want what like fresh meats, oh, yeah. the fresh fish, the cold cuts, sandwiches, anything from the bakery, each of those are different stations. And so you have to grab a number to be in line for each different station. Yeah. And so, we've experienced that at Detweiler's where people yeah. didn't realize that and they stand in line for 15 minutes only to get to the front and realize that they had to grab a ticket and then they yeah. got to do it all over again. So don't be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, hopefully that will save you a little bit of time on your first trip. Now for our OG subscribers, you probably know where we're heading to next. We're going to a place where we can burn off a few calories. If you are new here, welcome. We're glad to have you. I'm Jamie, Skylar is behind the camera. And after we have a big meal in St. Pete, we do usually stop by the rock climbing gym to make room for our next spot to eat. So unlike Mazaros here at Vertical Ventures, you do not have to deal with crowds whatsoever on a weekday in the early afternoon. We're here in, here right now. For dinner, we're here in the Edge District to check out the for dinner, we're here in the Edge District to check out the brick and mortar location of She's So Crispy. Now we did visit Shiko. <laughs> now we did visit their food truck in our What's New Pinellas County episode, but odds are you never saw that one because not many people watch that video. But we're really hoping now that they have a brick and mortar, there's going to be even more options and the experience will be even better. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is not entirely what we expected. They're actually still serving their food out of a food truck, and their menu is exactly the same as last time we visited their food truck, but they do have a brick and mortar spot where you can eat inside in the air conditioning, which is especially really nice on a hot summer day like today. So even though they have that indoor space, we are gonna eat outside because they have a covered area right next to the food truck. And honestly, the lighting is a lot better for filming. Now, even though their menu is the same, we were able to order a few different things that we haven't tried before last time we were here we didn't try their dirty rice and they were also out of their barbecue jackfruit and that was recommended by a lot of people now speaking of the dirty rice it just arrived now at 22 dollars this is definitely a little bit on the pricier side for a fried rice dish but it is really heavy and it smells amazing our barbecue jackfruit bao buns just arrived so it's time to eat these are plum full i'm gonna lose a lot just by lifting it up but i don't care mm-hmm Skylar asked if I didn't know that this was jackfruit, what I would think that it is. And I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet, but it's really good. Let's see if Skylar has a good comparison for the jackfruit. Hmm. It's interesting, right? But a good interesting. Yeah, I was thinking it might resemble a certain type of meat, but it doesn't have the texture of meat at all, but it's still totally delicious. Now, as good as that jackfruit was, I gotta be honest, I was much more excited about this beef short rib. I don't really even know what to say. The beef is incredibly tender. The sauce is awesome. It's just a really good mixture of flavors. I would absolutely recommend this. Mm. Wow, yeah, that is really good. The rice is cooked perfectly. That beef is super tender and pull apart, full of flavor. And like Skylar mentioned, whatever that orange sauce is, it is delicious. All right, Jamie, tell us what you think about your second experience at She's So Crispy. 
So I would say that this location is not at all what I expected and their menu was still quite small, but it seems that everything they do, they do really well. I was very happy that we were able to try the jackfruit this time because we've heard that it can be very difficult to prepare jackfruit correctly and they definitely know how to do it here. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head. The menu is a little bit small, but everything is really good. I would say it's a little bit on the pricier side, but so is everything in the downtown St. Pete area. So if you're going to spend a little bit of money on dinner, you might as well get something really good and you can definitely find that here. Now, as you can see, we once again have leftovers, which means we may not even have to cook tomorrow, which is definitely another plus. We're going to head to the grocery store next, and then we're going to head home where Jamie is going to be trying her mystery dessert that she got from Mazzaro, so stick around for that. So we made it home, and it is finally try... So we have made it home and it is finally time to try this mystery bakery item. So it did get a little bit squished in our cooler in our cooler bag, but I don't think it's going to affect the flavor of it at all. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Now the lady that was sitting next to us, she highly recommended that we go to the bakery and order a lobster tail. Now, we didn't know what that was when it came to baked goods. So before I show you all what it looks like, if you know what this is, let us know in the comments. I think you gotta show them what's inside. Of it. All right, I'm gonna pull it out. Okay. It doesn't look that impressive from the top. Okay. Oops. This thing is heavy. Holy crap. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah, in that box, I don't think we could tell that it was this big. It is a croissant that is filled with chocolate cream. Skylar says that he's not going to try it. I'm good. We'll see. I'm not a big chocolate fan. <laughs> All right. I don't even know how to eat this. Maybe I'll pull a part of it. Okay. So just to show you more of the inside. Whoa. I just pulled off the bottom of it. It is filled with chocolate. Let me see it. Look at that. Where's all the lobster at? <laughs> all right. Yeah. That is really good. The cream inside is like light and fluffy. It's not too chocolatey. Yeah. I don't know. You're not going to try it? Nope. While Jamie devours the rest of this lobster tail, we do want to thank you for joining us on this episode. If you have any food places you'd like to see us go on this channel that we haven't already visited on either of these channels, let us know in the comments and we'll try to get there. We'll try to get there? Yeah, I'm, All right. I'm not making any promises. All right. Cool. What, what, what do you want me to say? Mm. You did that try was, it. That was like... <laughs> It was like a sliver of it. He tried it. You want to try the cream? I'll try the tiny bit. Mm. Pretty the good. The consistency is really good. Yeah. If it didn't have the chocolate in it, I'd probably really like it. Mm. I wonder if sometimes they do vanilla. Mm. Maybe. Mm. See you next time. <laughs>